Today on the Stay at Home Chef, I'm going to show you how to make crispy spring rolls. These crispy deep fried spring rolls are filled with a tender crisp vegetable and a savory meat. They're definitely an experience in your mouth. Your taste buds will be dancing and the crunch is oh so satisfying. To start making these tasty rolls, we need to make the filling and to do that, we're gonna head to the stove and heat up a wok or a large saucepan over medium high heat. Add in about one tablespoon of sesame oil and one pound of ground pork. Break it up as it cooks for four to five minutes. Instead of using ground pork, you could use the same amount of ground chicken. Once that pork is browned up a bit, you're gonna add in one tablespoon of garlic and one tablespoon of minced ginger and one tablespoon of oyster sauce. There's no need for any extra salt in this dish. The oyster sauce is doing the trick for us. Also, if you don't have fresh garlic or ginger on hand, feel free to substitute that for one teaspoon of dried garlic powder and one teaspoon of ginger powder. Saute those ingredients around for about three to four more minutes, making sure that that meat is thoroughly cooked and brown. And then we're gonna add in two cups of shredded cabbage, a half a cup of shredded carrots, and then a fourth a cup of sliced up green onions. Saute these vegetables alongside the meat for about three more minutes. We don't want this to get soggy and we still want those vegetables to be a little bit firm. Now that our filling is cooked and combined, we're gonna turn off the heat and remove it from the stove. This filling needs to chill a bit, so I'm gonna transfer that into a bowl. I'm gonna pop this in my fridge for about 10 minutes to cool down. Now that our filling isn't piping hot, I can assemble these crazy tasty rolls. To do that, we need to have spring roll wrappers and one beaten egg. Spring roll wrappers are like the skinny cousin to an egg roll wrapper. They are lighter, they have an amazing crispy texture, and I honestly feel like they're easier to work with. Take one of those wraps and lay it out on a clean surface. Now we're gonna take our beaten egg and we're gonna brush those edges with that. Now we take about two tablespoons of that cooked mixture. We're gonna lay that in about a four inch line towards the bottom of the wrap. You don't want that mixture to go clear to the edge, so make sure you leave about a one inch space on both sides. Fold the bottom up over that mixture and then gently take those edges and pull them over Press that down. And roll the rest of the way, making a perfect little roll. Go ahead and finish assembling those rolls, which will give you about 15 to 18. Once we have those completed, we're gonna head over to the stove where we have our wok that has about three inches of cooking oil and it's preheated to 375 degrees Fahrenheit. We're going to carefully place those rolls in that oil and let them fry for about two minutes. Go ahead and roll them a bit to ensure that all sides get golden. Once they have achieved that golden brown, go ahead and remove them from the oil and place them on a paper towel lined plate or baking sheet. Let them cool for a few minutes and the way I really enjoy eating them is when they're dunked in a sweet chili sauce. Whether you dip them or not, they're so good and you are ready to eat. Thanks for watching. You can find the full written recipe on the video description below. Be sure to check out thestayathomechef.com where you can find hundreds of restaurant quality recipes you can easily make at home. We'll see you later.